Good morning, beloveds. Um, well, <laughs> I finally had a bike crash, and it was my fault. So that's a good thing. It did not involve a car, unfortunately. It did involve my husband, and he took the um, the worst half of it. Uh, I forgot where I was going, and so I started to turn to make a U-turn, and I didn't warn him, <laughs> and he was closer to me than I thought he was. So he actually uh, spilled onto the, the 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 road, and I I actually made managed to make the U turn. He ma he didn't hit me, um, which if he had hit me, it would have been my fault. But uh, then I, in making the U turn, I got too close to a curb, and I was also trying to see because I knew he had gone down, and so I got too close to a curb, and I landed in the grass. <laughs> So, we both are going to be a little, yeah, stiff today. Uh, so, it, yeah. Fortunately, it looks like the only, uh, he didn't end up with road rash. He scraped one knuckle on his uh, one hand and tore a hole in his pants, but didn't look like he tore a hole in his knee. But <laughs> he landed on his shoulder and his knee, so I'm going to make sure he takes an anti-inflammatory. Um, today and then we're gonna go from there I'm definitely stiff but I also took much we took a longer ride than I had expected no I expected it uh, it, it I don't know I'm just I'm tired so um, it's a beautiful fall morning and we took a fall so I hope your your morning that but that's part of the reason why we're so late is I took a longer ride than I had expected and I took a fall uh, so I hope your morning is going better. Uh, all right, it is September 25th. Our title is I Have Complete Confidence in the Law of Good. And our quote is, When heaven and man exert their powers in concert, all transformations have their commencements determined. And that is the texts of Taoism. The good in which you believe can triumph over every evil you have experienced. You have a silent partnership with the infinite. This partnership has never been dissolved. It can never be. You have, you are to have an implicit confidence in your own ability, knowing that it is the nature of thought to externalize itself in your affairs. Knowing that you are the thinker, you are going to turn resolutely from every sense of lack, want, and limitation, and declare the perfect law of God is operating in and through you, say, I have complete confidence in my knowledge and understanding of the law of good. I not only know what this law is, I know how to use it. I know that I shall obtain definite results through the use of it. Knowing this, having confidence in my ability to use the law and using it daily for a specific purpose, this is gradually I build up an unshakable faith both in the law and the possibility of demonstrating it. Therefore, today I declare the law of the Lord is perfect in everything I do. Today I declare in guide, divine guidance Today, I believe in divine guidance. Today, I believe that underneath the, are the ever everlasting arms. Today, I rest in this divine insurance and this divine security. I know not only that all is well in my soul, my spirit and my mind, all is well with my affairs. All right, so there's two really important lines in this text. Um... Knowing that it is the nature of thought to externalize itself in your affairs. What you think is what's showing up in your world. Um, so to some degree, and I'm not going to say all of it, because there is, um, I, I almost hate to call it race consciousness because there's so much charge around that word, but human consciousness, um, we, we, we have as as humanity, we have made some agreements that this is the way things are. Um, but 
the nature of thought is to externalize itself in your affairs. What you are thinking is what you are, what is showing up in your world. Um, so if you are thinking happy thoughts, you tend to notice more happy stuff. If you are thinking negative thoughts, then you tend to see more negative. Now, probably both are always present. It's just depending on what you're thinking about is what's going to show uh, what you're going to notice. Okay. So, and I'm not going to say that when you're happy, you don't notice the negative. And I'm not going to say that when you're negative, thinking negatively, you don't see the happy. Um, but it does impact you differently on how you see the happy. Uh, if you see the happy and it makes you feel better, then, then it may help snap you out of that, um, that, that negativity. But if you see the happy and it makes you more bitter, so then you're going to start noticing more negative. So what, so that's what it is. If you find yourself trending in that negative direction, then what do you do to get out of that? Well, first thing I would suggest is go do a spiritual practice. Go do a meditation, go do a treatment, and then go intentionally find something beautiful. Go intentionally find some whatever it looks like. Um, you know, hug your partner, snuggle with your pet, um, take a walk through the trees, uh, you know, and to help lighten your mood, because then you will literally change your focus. Uh, the other line that is super important today is using it daily for specific purposes. Because we use it every day, all the time anyway. So if we are going to use it for specific purposes then we are going to get demonstrable results. Then we know, okay, I did my treatment about this and this was the result. It's literally scientific research. That's the way it is. You create a hypothesis, you test your hypothesis, you have controls and what have you, and then you get results. Uh, and then you try and replicate it. So specific purposes. Because we are using it all the time anyway, and a lot of the times we're using it unconsciously. We're, and I'm going to use the word wish. We're wishing. So um, stop wishing and start treating. And treat specifically. Now remember, treat the what, not the how. Uh, you say, this is what I want. And then you let, you let the universe, spirit, God, good, whatever you want to use there. You let that decide how. So those are the two lines that are super, super, super important that I heard in this treatment today. It is externalized. It, 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 thought externalizes itself in your affairs and make sure that you are using it for specific, for, for specific purposes. It really is about, it's like we know this law. We are constantly using this law, but most of the time we are using it unconsciously. So what we want to do is start using it more consciously, more consciously. Does it mean we have to have complete control over every single second of our lives? God, no, because that would just drive us bananas. But stop wishing for things and start treating for things. The difference between wishing and treating is you're putting your faith and your power and your focus on a treatment, whereas the wish is the wish doesn't have the power. Wish doesn't have the power. Now I say that. <laughs> I mean, if you wish really hard, you might as well be treating, right? Um, but I would also say that a treatment's going to be a little more specific than a wish, because a wish is kind of a generalized ephemeral thing, um, and you can easily, easily, easily turn a wish into a treatment. So I'm not telling you not to wish. I'm just telling you to put a little more focus and a little more power behind it. Use it for specific purposes. Um, there was another line, but I'll get back to it. So, all right. I have complete confidence in the law of good. I mean, we should. We should. 
And then with the, with the quote, when heaven and man exert their powers in concert, meaning when we align ourselves with the law, when we align ourselves with the law, all transformations have their commencements determined. Basically, when we align with the law, the law has no choice. I mean, the law doesn't have a choice anyway, but because it's, that's its job to do. Um, so when we align with the qualities of God that we've talked about, um, creativity, harmony, peace, love, joy, happiness, all of those, when we align with that, then what we want cannot help but come to us commencements have been determined. All right, so that's from the text of the Taoists. So the good in which you believe can triumph over every evil you have experienced. So the law can do this. Absolutely. They, they are, they're making this statement. <laughs> they're drawing their line in the sand. You have a silent partnership in the infinite. This partnership has never been dissolved, never can it be. It can't be. So you have always been a partner with the divine. You have always been. You will always be. There is nothing that can get between can get between you and the divine. There is nothing that can dissolve that partnership. The dissolve the 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 divine cannot dissolve the partnership either. Okay. The closest we can get is we can throw out the illusion of the separation, but the the divine cannot dissolve the partnership because we're part of the divine. We are made from the divine stuff. We are made from God stuff. We are made from spirit stuff. We are made of the, the essence of spirit. So even the divine cannot dissolve the partnership. You know what that means? God can't leave you. If you've been raised in any Christian faith, uh, at one point or another, I believe all of us have been told, well, God can turn their back on you. Nope. Nope, because you're made of God's stuff. You are part of the whole. And the whole cannot leave you because you're part of it. You're, you're made up of it. This partnership has never, been, oh, has never been dissolved. It never can be. You are to have implicit confidence in your own ability, knowing that it is the nature of thought to externalize itself in your affairs. So you are to have implicit confidence in your own ability because you're made of God stuff, which means, you, as Rumi likes to say, you are not a drop in the ocean, you are the ocean in a drop. Okay? It means that you have access to absolutely everything that God is. All at one time? No. <laughs> because we are having a material ex existence. But you have access to all of it. All right. Um, I've already been over the nature of you, the the nature of thought to externalize itself in your affairs. That's super super important. What you focus on is where your power goes. Where your attention is is where your power goes. So, check your head. Check your thoughts. Be conscious of the kinds of thoughts that are drifting through your mind. And some of them you want to focus on and some of them you want to let go. Just let that thought drift on by. Don't focus on that one. <clears throat> you are going to turn resolutely from every sense of lack, want, and limitation. So when you see those thoughts, you're like, nope, let them go. That's where Emma can be very helpful. Just deny that thought. I am not that. I am not that. I am not that. And declare that the perfect law of God is operating in, for, and through you. Say. Okay, so now we're into the, the power statements. I have complete confidence in my knowledge and understanding of the law of good. I not only know what this law is, I know how to use it. All right. What we do in science of mind, we don't teach you how to use the law. We simply make you aware of the law in that is operating in your life and how you can align with it. You know the law. It is born in you. It is written in your DNA. You know how to use it and you've been using it, but you've been using it unconsciously. Science of mind teaches you, hey, 
This law exists. You're using it. Why don't you use it for specific purposes? I know that I shall obtain definite results through the use of it. Knowing this, having confidence in my ability to use the law and using it daily for specific purposes. Daily for specific purposes. Spiritual treatment. Write yourself a mini treatment every day. It's five steps, one sentence each. There is one God. I am a part of that God. This is what I want today. I am so grateful to know about this ability of mine. And I release it knowing it is done. That's it. One sentence each. You can do a mini treatment every single day, specific purposes. <clears throat> but you got to feel it. <laughs> Put that power behind it. Punch it. All right. Um, gradually, I build up an unshakable faith, both in the law and the possibility of demonstrating it. And that is the purpose of using it for specific purposes. Because that will build up your confidence. That will build up that unshakable faith when you see the results. And sometimes simply being able to change your mood is that's the that's the beginning of a result. Therefore, today I declare that the law of the Lord is perfect in everything I do. It is whole in everything I do. Today, I believe in divine guidance. I believe in divine guidance every day. Do I always listen? No. But I know when I don't. And I know when I make that deliberate choice. And, it, and I'm, then I see how it works out for me. So, today, I believe in divine guidance. And I'm willing to listen. Today, I believe that underneath are the everlasting arms. And that is in a quote. I forget who, where, where it's quote from. Today, I believe in the, under, the uh, underneath are the everlasting arms. It means that we're always held by God. We're always held in spirit. There is never a time that we are not held in spirit. That's what that quote means. Today, I rest in this divine assurance and this divine security. I know not only that all is well with my soul, my spirit, and my mind, all is well with my affairs. So our mission today, should we choose to accept it, is to use the law daily for specific purposes. That's the mission. And that is the mission absolutely every day, to use the law for specific purposes, to use it every day to learn, to learn, to learn who we are, to learn how powerful we actually are in our own lives, to in our own life, because so often we're giving our power away to everybody else. And it's like, no, no, as Rumi says, we are not a drop in the ocean. We are the ocean in a drop. We have power in our own lives. We have power over our own lives. And sometimes I know it looks like the only power we have is how we respond. But that in and of itself is power to respond rather than react. To respond and that to know that we're always a choice. To know that we're always a choice. All right, beloveds. I'm going to move on to the process of my day. I got to, I'm going to go ice my back because <laughs> uh, I got work to do today. And um, I have boxes to unpack and close to hang up. So, um, yeah, I'm going to encourage you to do something loving for yourself, do something kind for yourself, do something compassionate for yourself, whatever that looks like. Whatever that looks like. Uh, I'm going to take a little extra TLC. I'm going to up my uh, anti-inflammatory and uh, go ice my back. And then rest <laughs> after I get done with what I need to do. Um, so I want you to do something loving, kind, and compassionate for yourself every day because you deserve it. You absolutely deserve your own loving, kind, compassion. 
because you are a beloved child of God in whom God is well pleased always and forever. It is a state of grace. It can't be earned and it can't be taken away. Just like that partnership can never be dissolved. So, practice it. Make it a permanent habit. And bank it. Bank it so that you have it to share. All right, beloveds. Um, I also encourage you to do something to engage your mind and your body. But whatever it is, please don't do what I did and fall off your bike <laughs> today. That wasn't, yeah. Um, go get that face full of sun first thing in the morning. It'll help reset your hormones. And drink plenty of water. Drink plenty of water. And please, when you hear me say drink plenty of water, that's code for I love you. That's one of the ways that I say I love you. Drink plenty of water. Uh, and open the windows of your soul. Allow the breath of heaven to remind you, you do live in heaven right now. Right now. I'm going to show you a little bit of my heaven. Right here. See him? He's been here asleep beside me the whole time. So, that's my heaven. All right, beloveds. Um, Reverend David should be on around 5 p.m. with you. I will be back with you at 9 a.m. And then tomorrow is Sunday, so we'll have an amazing service for you. We're going to wrap up the domino effect and move into the next series. Although I think he's going to stick with Emma in the high mysticism. So um, it'll be good. Uh, feel free to catch us on the social medias. I am the running Rev Ryan on all three platforms that we use. Uh, and... Creative Life Spiritual Center is that on Facebook and YouTube. And trust me, there's some great content up on that YouTube channel. It's sorted into playlists to make it easier to deal with, um, to, to find what you're looking for. And they are we are Creative Life Spark on Instagram. So check us out. Like us and subscribe. Um, and do what you need to do to make it a great day, a fantastic day, an amazing day, a wonderful day, a good day. And if that is too much pressure, simply have a day. But know that you're loved. All right, beloveds, I will see you next time.